or whatever <laughs> all right so phil had asked me what it was like meeting with like subscribers or whatever i think in texas in texas it like i say it like this it had never been like a, a new thing for like me to take photos with like people that have been like fans of the channel mm -hmm. i think it's more just like naturally tense here for whatever reason mm -hmm. like i think this area like bro comparing like the atmosphere of like maryland to texas texas is like you don't feel none of that like weight that you're not even thinking about of like just like random aggression or whatever mm -hmm. like it's a lot more laid back everybody like way more like happy-go-lucky type shit yeah, over there they're not stuck like it, up. yeah it's way more like it's almost like because the sun is so hot that's why nobody's like really like complain i don't know mm -hmm. but like the energy here feels a lot more tense I think it was like, like yeah, man. Sometimes, or like, I would take photos with people here, or I would like do a little like whatever with people here, mm -hmm. and it'd be chill. And then other times, it'd be like, it'd be like a scenario where like they catch me on the way to class when I'm already high, mm -hmm. so it's like I acknowledge it. <clears throat> It would be like a cool little humble exchange, and then like they try like let's say like for example, this one dude like he had met up with me or whatever. He wanted to get my number so he could like whatever he would get like uh plug me in so like some yeah. whatever so i gave him the number but then he would try to like text me about like he had like asked me about a takeoff video or something i just never reply because yeah. i was blown off of like seeing all the takeoff notifications at the time <laughs> <laughs> so it's like scenarios like that but then in texas especially in a condensed space like that where everybody yeah. like knows everything about like the internet scene or whatever yeah why it was kind of like crazy how frequent of of like an act it was to be like yo can i take a picture with you whatever yeah because i'm thinking like all right it probably like even it, one before we even got there i'm thinking like i'm not even thinking that's a thing but then when people start as like people start recognizing me and they start like asking for photos or whatever so, like how was it like people would like see you and be like oh oh sure, like, it's, it's not, would they know you as pat or like car game it'd be like a mix of both it would be more so like notorious pat but then it would be some people that's just like it's just cry game or whatever. Like it would yeah. be like a mix of it was that. A mix. Oh, yeah, wow. it still feels weird when like people call me cry game. It's not mm -hmm. something that I'm like fully comfortable settled in. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like it had always been an issue. That is that should have always been a thing <laughs> that I've never been like fully comfortable with. Like people referring to me as cry game. Yeah, I think it's like I'm starting to care less about it, but I still would like. I don't know because it's like it's not like an alias it's not like a name that's supposed to be one person so like it's understandable why you would be like default but it's also like that's not my stage name yeah, you know right, yeah so it was like i say like it was probably like 60 65 35 okay. notorious pet versus crock game yeah, but it was still some crack games. It was, it was still some reluctant uh, fun. <laughs> like shit. Nah, but I was, ever, I was still humble about it. I try my best to be humble. Have you ever had like a, a negative interaction with like a fan or someone before? Um, not has it really. Just been positive, you feel? Not really. I think the the most negative would probably be like somebody trying to throw like a Joan mid like, but it's like it don't hit. So it's not even worth acknowledging type shit. Like it's just like it's just like a Joan that fell flat. Yeah. But it's like a it's like a random like, damn, you really like went for that one. Yeah. <laughs> like we could have went this interaction without that. Mm -hmm. And you really tried it. <laughs> and now I just gotta be mature and ignore oh, that yeah, shit. Just, just let it rock. As a cause he wanna he want I don't know. But I don't even think that really be happening often for real. Oh, yeah, okay. Everybody just, and then what's crazy too is people was recognizing me like an hour away from the vicinity. Really? Like it was people that's that was in that area in Texas. It's this one place called like uh Bucky's. Bucky's. It was in a Austin? person yeah, it was a person that was working there that recognized me. Okay. He wanted to take a photo, but he was working. Damn. Nah, so it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough. And then it made me like appreciate it more with like, all right, because during that period I wasn't really feeling it or whatever. I yeah. I like I kept hitting this like wall like you, yeah it's like, like writer's block or what nah it wasn't even like it was writer's block but it was writer's block off the sense of like i'm overthinking this shit because like i feel like i'm like why am i not at the place that i want to be at yet and it's like yeah it's like a i say like it's a lot of ideas i got left on the table off the strength of like i just be overthinking like the vids that i know i gotta post or whatever but like in full like 
work ethic of like it just looked like my work ethic not like up to par but it really is like i would just be putting way too many hours on one particular video as opposed to just like being more professional and just like i don't know i don't feel mm. like either approach that i did was wrong like mm. carving up hits as opposed to just like being a consistent like yeah, uploader because like this one more recent one that i dropped 